Mountain lions are North America's largest native cat and the continent's most adaptable true carnivore. Seldom seen or heard, they quietly walk the woodlands, forests, rivers, deserts, and mountains of the American West. Merging with these landscapes, mountain lions are deep tan in color, ears and tails tipped in black with a soft cream muzzle and chest. They weigh a little less than people on average, from about 80 pounds to 180, standing two or three feet high at the shoulder. The lion's most distinctive feature, a large and expressive tail, measures a third of his seven-foot length. Americans are much more familiar with African lions than with our American lion, but ours is very different and not closely related to the African lion at all. Mountain lions are elusive creatures that blend into the underbrush, while groups of African lions are proudly visible on the plains. Mountain lions do not live in prides. They are solitary animals. It's unusual to see a group, and if you do, it's likely a mother lion caring for her growing kittens. Males and females do meet throughout the year to mate, but you're much more likely to hear their unique caterwaul a high-pitched cry, than ever see a mating pair. Mountain lions cannot roar, they purr and chirp, making a warm, low rumble or short staccato sounds that are easily mistaken for a bird in the brush. Mountain lions hear across a wide range of frequencies, ears twitching independently to locate the source of a sound. Their eyes are especially adapted for hunting when light is low, and they see at a wide angle. They're aware of movement and contrast more than details or color. Mountain lions have a keen sense of smell and are able to mark a location with scat and scrapes, communicating messages about their presence in a particular place. The lion's adapted senses alert him to danger and serve him well as he searches for prey. Unlike bears, coyotes, and wolves, felines can only consume other animals. Although they will eat almost any meat, lions are so particularly dependent upon deer for survival that the two species have adapted to one another over tens of thousands of years. Lions keep deer herds small, healthy, and constantly on the move so that they do not overgraze. This results in advantages to ecosystems overall, improving the habitat for all our native plants, birds, and animals. In a truly wild landscape, deer and mountain lions thrive together in an intricate harmony with their ecology. The endurance and speed of deer force the mountain lion to rely on silence, stealth, surprise, sprint, and strength to survive. The lion's stride is adapted so that his rear paws step silently and precisely within his own front footprints, avoiding the crack of a twig or the rustle of leaves as he stalks his prey. The lion's incredible musculature allows him to reach 50 miles per hour in a sprint, to bound up to 40 feet at a run, and to leap 15 feet straight up into a tree. His amazing tail, unusual even among felines, provides astounding precision, balance, and agility. American lions do not hunt cooperatively. They walk many miles alone, from dusk to dawn, to carefully mark and defend a territory. A solitary mountain lion's home range may stretch for hundreds of square miles. Males are very intolerant of intrusions by other males. A female lion's home range will usually intersect with those of several males, increasing the chance that her kittens will survive. A young mountain lion's most fearsome challenge will be to find, take, establish, and defend a home territory. 
A good territory will be undefended by other lions, with dense cover, abundant prey, and many safe places to catch a kill, to drink, and to sleep. Most likely, it will be far from where people live and work. Mountain lions don't think of home like people do, for a lion home is a huge territory, and lions will seldom stay in any single location for long. Not so long ago, mountain lions lived from the Atlantic to the Pacific, and from Tierra del Fuego to the Canadian Rockies. Every native tribe shared the land with them, and settlers encountered lions as they conquered the continents. As a result, the mountain lion has literally hundreds of names, but is commonly known as cougar, puma, panther, or catamount. Its scientific name is puma con color, meaning cat of one color. Whatever you call him, scientists tell us that the range of the mountain lion is vastly diminished now because we have lost so many of our wild lands to human development and because we have hunted cougars relentlessly to allay our fears, or for profit, or for sport. So many of us are appalled at the potential loss of the tiger, the leopard, and the African lion. We must not be careless about our own. To help save America's lion, join the Mountain Lion Foundation by visiting www.mountainlion.org and becoming a member. <laughs>